My number four aquarium fish with the most miserable life ever. We're going to the old dirty bastard of aquarium fish because there's no father to his style. We're talking about Oscar fish. Now look, I'm not saying there aren't people that aren't keeping Oscars properly, but they are probably few and far between and usually what ends up with the demise of this wonderful fish. You're an Oscar fish. You're sitting there, you're wagging your tail, you get home, life's pretty good. You get fed all the time. All of a sudden you outgrow a tank. I know a guy who had a 29 gallon tank with two eight inch Oscars in it, way overstocked. You get treated like a king for a while. Not really, if you're lucky you get fed pellets. But let's be honest, people who buy Oscars generally buy them to keep them and watch them eat other fish. So you get fed feeder fish all the time. You know how disease ridden the feeder fish probably are? Life is good until Johnny Random Fish Tank Punk leaves and goes off to college and he leaves you at home with his parents. His parents don't know what to do with you. They're A, take him back to the pet store, or B, and probably worse yet, they bring him down to Johnny Random Fish Tank Punk down in college, where you're forced to live in an aquarium that periodically gets beer spilled in it until your ultimate demise when a cigarette butt is put on your aquarium. 